In this video, we're going to be looking at several satisfying things that you can do with Lego. Let's go. So our first satisfying trick is this small cube, and when I take it apart, you can see how it's made. I used four 2x2 two two plates and four of these 1x2 panels for the outside of the cube, and to connect them all together, I used a singular 2x2 two two tile. When you're finished, you have a perfectly shaped cube, and uh, Minecraft Steve approves. I believe this is an illegal building technique, so be checking your window to make sure the cops aren't outside when you do this. You can also replicate the same cube instead using a giant lipstick piece and a plant element. Another satisfying trick, well, this isn't really a trick, but just plucking the leaves on these small plant pieces. It actually sounds like ASMR. Now before you fall asleep, here's another trick that I've shown on the channel before, and it's a bendable plate trick. So to do it, you need to take a net piece and sandwich it in between two layers of plates, and to keep it all held together, you're gonna also need to use some studs. And when you're finished, you have this really trippy looking surface that you can use to make cool creations like an ocean. Let me dry the book. This trick is so satisfying that I feel like I can die peacefully like Master Uguay. Now, base plates are a great tool to use when building, but I've always noticed how thin and flimsy they are. And you also can't connect anything to the bottom of them. Like, what the heck? Well, they're actually so thin that they're equivalent in thickness to a normal plate when you put them over studs. So essentially, you can sandwich them perfectly between two plates. Another satisfying trick is pressing down a bunch of plates and hearing the sound. Ooh, that sounded nice. So here's a bunch of 8x16 plates, and on the count of three, I'm gonna step on them. Three, two, one. Quick push ups. This thing is like solid plastic, it's so dense. Don't get me wrong, that sounded amazing, but think of all the hard work I'm gonna have to do now taking these apart. Okay, here's a trick that involves some bricks and it's another bendable one. But this one's pretty simple because all you need are bricks and plates to make this. Pretty much you build a bunch of layers like this that are one stud wide and you connect them all together with some one by two bricks. You can make it as long as you want and the longer you make it, the more bendy it will be. This trick is so satisfying that at this point, you might as well just click out of this video. Actually, no, don't do it. Okay, now time for a quick little speed run. Here's 10 quick and easy Lego tricks that require under 10 pieces. Here's a simple trick where you can take a 1x3 arch and put a small 1x1 slope underneath it. There's absolutely no gap between the two and they fit perfectly snug. You can also take four of these eyelet bricks and connect them all together into a square. From here, you can build on four different sides. Next, you can take a bunch of these flat studs and put them inside a large brick. If the brick is transparent, it looks extra cool. Maybe you can use this as like a modern decoration in the house or it just looks like a small aquarium. You can also make simple columns using four tiles that are one stud in width and squeezing them into the inner edges of a 2x2 two two plate. From there you can add one more 2x2 two two plate on the other end to hold it all together. This next trick requires only two parts, some sort of plate that's 3x3 three three or larger and a cylinder brick with these jagged edges. If you're a normal compliant citizen you'll likely put the two together like this, but what if I told you there's a more savage way to nope. connect them? All you gotta do is angle the cylinder brick 45 degrees, push it down, then boom. It can go between wow. the studs on a plate. This next trick is really random but pretty poggers. If you take two eyelet bricks, put them together, and add a plate, you'll have something that is perfectly one brick thick. On top of that, you're able to build on two different sides. This next trick is totally illegal. If you take two of these modified bricks, you can face them in opposite directions with a 1x2 tile. Maybe you can use it to make a bench for a minifig. Keep in mind though, you'll likely ruin your tile doing this. Please like the video because I'm risking myself going to jail just to make entertaining content for you guys. Here's another random trick where you can sandwich two arches between a cylinder brick using some of these modified plates. It's perfectly flush and there's no gap. You can possibly use this to make some cool flooring design for a house. You can also take a Technic plate and put the flower pieces in between the studs into the holes and they don't fall out. I also wanted to somehow find a way to use a hot dog, aka Glizzy in this video. So here's a simple trick where you can make a crossbow for your minifigs. It also uses some of these wrench looking pieces. Another satisfying trick is taking one of these plates with the lip and putting them inside a modified brick with a groove. In this case, you have a cool sliding mechanism. Okay, so for this next trick, I did a quick speed run to target because the next trick requires Duplo pieces. Yep, that's right. You can legit connect a regular brick on top of a Duplo brick. The Lego company purposefully wanted them to be compatible, and I never thought I'd be buying a Duplo set at the age of 19. And I'm not really sure what to do with these pieces now either. Another satisfying trick is taking four 2x2 two two plates, connecting them together, then adding a 2x2 two two tile on top. In this case, you have a perfect cube that no matter what direction you face it in, it still fits inside a 2x2 two two stud space perfectly. If you have some of these small 1x1 one one slopes, you can do some really cool artwork with them. It's 
extremely tedious, but if you're patient enough, you can loosely place them down to design some cool patterns. Just keep in mind though, it's super fragile, so if you tilt it the wrong way, you can like lose all your progress. Okay, so now it was time to go onto Instagram and ask what you thought were some satisfying Lego tricks, and we had some good answers. Well, most of you guys had good answers, but let's check out some of the popular ones. Digging through a bin of studs. Wow, feels like I'm massaging my hand. Lego pizza that bends down like the cheese is dripping. I'm not sure if I agree with the no pineapple part though. You can make a cube out of eight headlight bricks. You can stack ice cream pieces. Splashing studs in a pool. Wow, that sounded so nice. Putting on a sticker perfectly. Making color gradients is also really satisfying. There's also these really cool stop motions I've seen of people cutting food, and it just turns into Lego. From the Lego Minecraft sets, there's apparently these magma cubes that split into layers, and they're apparently super satisfying. I don't actually own one of these, so I followed some instructions online and built one myself. That's very satisfying. Someone mentioned an infinity cube. Here's one I built that uses some hinges, plates, and tiles. Pretty much how an infinity cube works, it's like a little fidget toy. You keep rotating these pieces, and it just goes on forever and ever. Wow. Apparently this person wants to be in the video. Bruh. This person told me to cut handcuff pieces and use them as watches on minifigs. Now my minifigs can be all iced out in that drip. Jip too hot, don't stand too close. Using a clone antenna and a 2x2 two two stud with mini bar hole as a door handle. I actually never knew this trick was possible, and I've gotta say, I'm in love with it. Punch a Lego person's face. Okay, here's a final bendable trick you can do. This one is a bendable wall, which uses 1x2 plates and studs. But apparently you can do the same trick, but with only bricks. It just needs to be a lot longer. And after a lot of building, I had a finished product. Let's see if it works. There you go. It actually works. Here's a cool square you can make with smooth edges and a hollow square in the middle. Just take four of these brackets, connect them all together, then finish the edges off with some tiles. And here's a cool trick you can do with bricks that have studs on the sides, plates, and jumper plates. Pretty much you can build a surface that will slowly change in length and it looks really clean. Okay, so I saved this one for last because it's probably my favorite trick of all, but it involves some really interesting physics. Wow. Here's a Lego built tense gritty structure that uses some chain pieces to make it look like a part of this build is floating in the air. If you look closely though, it makes sense why this floats because one side is hanging off and putting a force on the other side which is being held down so basically all the forces balance out at this point you've likely reached nirvana and found inner peace from all these satisfying tricks or the fbi could be outside your window right now from doing all the illegal ones but comment below what your favorite trick is give this video a like because i did have to spend five embarrassing minutes in self-checkout buying a duplo set it's okay though i just made up the excuse that i was buying it for a younger sibling hope y'all enjoyed thanks for watching and take care my broskies coming next week I have like illegal building techniques. Illegal you. Building? Do you want to like build a Lego world with me? Like, can I copy your number maybe? Oh, there's a spider! There's a spider! Ah! We had a good time, but we're heading out.